How is it going everyone? Welcome to my channel and welcome to the video series on MongoDB. In this series, I am going to talk about everything you must know about MongoDB. So this is the second video of the series and in this particular video, we will talk about how to insert and update data in MongoDB. Now before I go ahead, just a reminder, I will highly recommend you to go ahead and see my first video on this particular series on MongoDB. You can see a card over here. The reason being I have explained many things about MongoDB as well as MongoDB ecosystem which you must know before going ahead and exploring MongoDB. I am assuming that you have seen that video. So let's go ahead and start exploring how to insert and update data in MongoDB. Now before we go ahead and talk about inserting or updating data, you must know about collections. So from my earlier video, you know that we store data in MongoDB inside collections and this is how the overall hierarchy of data storage looks like in MongoDB. So a MongoDB database consists of one or more collections and each collection consists of one or more documents which we call JSON also sometimes but in terms of MongoDB they are called documents. So in this particular video we will see how to create collections and how to insert data. We are going to explore creating collections both via MongoDB shell as well as via MongoDB compass. The reason being compass gives us some of the best visual reference of understanding the things and that's the reason we are talking about compass over here. We are going to explore these APIs. So let's go ahead, open MongoDB shell as well as compass and get going. So here I have MongoDB compass. Let me connect it to my local host because the server is hosted on my local host and I have specifically created a database called learn to learn more about MongoDB. Okay, we can select this database and there is a collection called weather which we have created in my previous video. This is MongoDB shell and we can uh, just use show databases. It will show me four database. I can say huge learn and I will switch to learn database and I can see the collections like show collections. As of now, we have just weather collection. Let me clear the screen. Now, as I told you that before inserting any data, you need to create collection and we can create collection from MongoDB shell as well as from the compass. Now, before we go ahead and start doing something with MongoDB shell, let me tell you why understanding MongoDB shell is so important. Reason being, uh, tomorrow when you start using MongoDB database, you will not be end up using with MongoDB shell. You will be writing code in your own preferred programming language and you will be accessing MongoDB from that programming language. But when you will look into the APIs or the drivers, for all those programming languages, you will find it very similar to the API we are calling from the MongoDB shell, okay? If not exactly the same, okay? So that's the reason if you get a hands-on with MongoDB shell, it is very easy for you to write your code no matter which programming language you use, okay? So let's go ahead and first try to create a collection from Compass. And there is a reason why I am asking you to create a collection from Compass. Reason being when you create a collection from Compass, you can create any collection name test. You get these two options, capped collection and huge custom collection. Now I am not going to create either capped collection or custom collection at this video, but in some later videos. But let me tell you what these are. A capped collection is nothing but very similar to a black box or a circular buffer where insertion order is maintained and it is of a specific size and things will get overwritten if the size is, you know, goes beyond the limit. So if you want to create, you know, temporary buffer for some time like, you know, circular buffer or something similar to a black box, you can use capped collection. Custom collation is interesting. You can just consider this as some entity or some mechanism via which you can increase the speed of search. For example, because you know what, if you are writing some English language, the search is case specific. But in this case, you can specify a rule stating that you do not want case sensitive search. It can be case insensitive. So 
if you click here you get size option over here in here you get much more options don't worry we will gonna look into this in later videos but at this moment of time i do not want you guys to you know get confused so right now i have created a collection which has no data called test similarly i can create a collection from you know shell so the first option of creating a collection is by calling a api called db dot create collection you can give the name of the collection you know uh, for example lion tell there are some options you can give to uh, emphasize whether it is a capped collection but you are not going to look at them right now you know it says okay one that means the collection is created and if we go ahead and log in this database again and refresh it uh, we can see that lion tell collection is there again it is not having any documents so let me drop these two connection i can drop it from here for example i just drop the collection uh, by writing the name and similarly if i want to drop the learn del collection i can say db dot you know learn del dot drop that's all all the collections are gone in this database bearing the weather which we have created last time now this was one way of creating the collection explicitly you can create the collection implicitly by calling a insert on that collection for example i can create a collection you know test call dot insert and i am just writing you know one document over here and i can say you know name like this remember at this moment of time there is no collection name test call but the right result is successful and if we go ahead and refresh you can see that you know this collection is created with a single document so if you call a insertion api on a name which mean to be a collection but if that is not existed it will create on its own so in this case i didn't created a collection explicitly in this case this api call has created the collection implicitly so this is one way of inserting a data as well as creating a collection if the collection is already created you can insert the data now with insert you can even insert multiple data so we can say db dot test call dot insert if we want to insert multiple collection we need to create an array okay and in here uh, let's say you know uh, put something for example salary 100 thousand in first and in second you say again salary as 200 thousand close that uh, this one i think salary i haven't closed the you know so you can see two documents are inserted bulk insert is two okay and if we go ahead and refresh it um, that salary 100,000 and salary 200,000 is created now there is another api called insert one which means that it is clearly stating that at this point of time you can insert only one record so instead of uh, insert we can say insert one okay and let's say two it has inserted only one record and if we go ahead and refresh you can see that's two over here similarly there is something called insert many as the name suggests you can use insert many also over here uh, let me go here um, insert many now you will say that you could have inserted multiple records with insert also what is the purpose of insert many in insert you can give either single document or array notation in this case insert many you have to give you know um, let me change the salary in this case you have to give array notation two objects are inserted and if we go ahead and refresh it you can see that these objects are inserted in fact i'll give you a trick with insert many you can actually insert single document like you know you just give the single document but you know put it in the array notation it will insert it 
and this is the way you have inserted another record with insert many so the choices are insert insert one or insert many based on your own requirement of your application you may choose any one of them now let's go ahead and talk about updating the documents so when i'm talking about updating the document it doesn't mean a blind update it means that query and update if you want to create a blind record you can use you know directly insert insert many or insert one update means you have to query and update and we are going to see all these apis update update one update many conditional search i will talk a little bit about conditional search because this is a big topic in itself and i will create a totally separate video on conditional search again i am going to repeat no matter which driver or programming language you are using you might be end up having similar set of apis there might be you know update underscore one based on you know language convention but this is what the apis will do okay so it's good to get a hands on with the shell so here is how my document looks like for example let's assume that i want to change this name so what i will do is that i'll say db dot collection name dot you know update in update we need to provide two things what is the query parameter and what is the action when the query is met so in query parameter i'll give a document saying that you know if name is dutch this is my query parameter now what i need to do is that i need to set the name to something else for example code spay here is how i am going to give i'll say you know this is a document but i will use something called set it's again a key value pair inside that i'll say you know name as code spay okay so uh, let me show you uh, this in a notepad so here is what i have written so i am saying that if query name is dutch then set this is also a key value pair this is a value name as code spay okay and if i go ahead and press enter you can say match is one modified is one and if i go ahead to my compass to see the data you can see that name code spay is there okay now this is about update okay now there is something called update one so for the same thing there is a update one api so to properly understand that let me change you know uh, this also as code spay update and what i'm trying to do is that you know if name is uh, code spay okay if name is code spay uh, change the name to you know channel in this case only one of the code spay will be changed and you can see that channel is there this is code spay and if i go ahead and change it to code spay again and update it and if i use update many in this case instead of update one if i use update many and if i press enter now you can see that two match two modified these are code spay code spay and if i refresh it it becomes channel and this is how you use update many now you know matching name is simple you know key value pair what if you want to check if the salary is uh, greater than or less than a particular number so first you need to find out how you are going to find that salary so you can say db dot you know test call dot find find is a good way of you know uh, verifying your um, test criteria in here i'll say uh, salary is the key you know the value is again a document which says that you know dollar gt greater than uh, let's say 100000 okay and we are done so let me again copy it and uh, use it in a notepad so this is key value pair the value is a condition saying that salary is greater than 100000 there are four records with salary greater than 100000 and you can see this okay similarly if i just uh, 
use this particular you know condition in compass in here as a filter you will get the same result for records now what if you need to do compounding like and and or so the syntax is bit complicated but if you want to understand you need to first draw the document first so i have created this in here in this notepad so you have to provide and and this value of and will be an array in which you do the same thing what we did for every individual salary so here salary is greater than 100000 and less than uh, 200000 so if you go ahead and use this particular you know command one record as greater than 100000 and less than 200000 and if we go ahead and use the same logic in the you know compass we we should get the same result here is the result okay so this is the way you can do and or you can even say uh, you know or uh, i don't know how many record will be there so these are the record so this is how you do compounding of you know your conditions this filter in compass is a very good way of also testing your logic because over a period of time it becomes bit complex if you have lots of conditions so this is the best place to you know check your condition so that's all i had for today thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please take a moment to like comment share and subscribe till the next time we meet good day goodbye